Certainly, if you look at minimal stimulation IVF, patients that have um, normal ovarian reserve are good candidates for minimal stimulation IVF. Patients that have polycystic ovarian syndrome, so patients that have PCOS and don't ovulate on their own, they're also excellent candidates for minimal stimulation IVF. So in general, the, the process there is to gently stimulate the ovaries to grow six to eight eggs, and from those eggs develop embryos that we can transfer and have a healthy baby. When we overstimulate the ovaries, we know that has a detrimental effect on the egg quality, the subsequent fertilization rate, and the embryo quality, which translates also into the an abnormality rate or the aneuploidy rate. So patients that are best suited for minimal stimulation IVF are patients that have good ovarian reserve, patients that are between the age of 35 and 42 are excellent candidates, especially if they've failed with conventional IVF. If they've done conventional IVF and have been unsuccessful, inexplicably not knowing how they ended up with no normal embryos or didn't have a pregnancy at the end of the process, it may very likely be to the detrimental effect of the high doses, the supraphysiologic doses of these hormones that are given to patients. And it's not natural and it can have a very detrimental effect on the eggs and embryos.